Bree and Brianna Collins, who was on the scene in Chicago, died at an early age of 24. Amber was future on season 2, DocuL 18 of Final Hours. Amber was a single mother who was raising her four-year-old son by herself. Her son's name is Angelo, and Bree spent time with her son as much as she could. Bree had even nicknamed herself Forever Breezy, which meant she would always be sure to love herself and avoid the fake love. Two of her favorite movies to watch was Armageddon and Hours. She also loved TV shows Law and Order and Bring It with the Dancing Dolls. Bree also liked to read books. Before her death, she had began a novel, A Hustler's Wife. This was the outlet for her to debrief. And Brianna was also a diehard Chicago Bulls fan, beloved Chicago Bears and Golden State Warriors as well. Ambry was very light amongst her friends and family. However, Brie had got involved with a lot of things and her name became hot. The looking glass self means it's not who you are, it's not who others think you are, but what others see or what others say you are. The most important decisions in our lives will be made when we are not around. Perception is key. Hear others' perception on Brie. Here's her story. Perception is reality, but sometimes perception can get you killed. It was a reality to us, but a nightmare for Brie. In Chicago, perception could be fatal. In Chirac, where rumors are fatal, is always someone that's ready to kill off a rumor. Whether true or not, it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna take you down the block to Vernon, Rhodes, STL, and Jaro, where them boys and gals be at on Tukaville and MLB. See, Bree loved to hang on the dark side, which is known as Tukaville, and Bree had a well-known respect from the guys who she hang with on the street. After speaking with Jaro, I come to learn she was smart, funny, she had jokes, and she enjoyed life, and even took her son with her everywhere she went. Make no mistake, Ambry had pull, and Jaro wouldn't let anyone fight her, which is why Shay told her to come off the block. Ambry was the only girl that was allowed to holler shit's black gang. That's cause she really had that clout on EBT, STL, and Vernon. With clout came hate and jealousy. Brie knew she looked pretty and all the girls were hating on her and Brie loved to take pics.
FBG Wooski was one of Bree's best friends. Her and Wooski would text each other all day. She definitely had his back. Bree and Wooski had a weird relationship. Sometimes she would say things to him that sound like they were dating. But then 20 minutes later, she would say, hey Wooski, it's straight, just to let motherfuckers know. It was like, what? What? What you say that for? Even Wooski responded like, what the f Like, he was her validation, and she was his. Anyways, Wooski played both sides of the field. He was cool with Bree, and he was cool with Shay, and Bree's opposition. FBG Wooski started posting pics of Shay on his Facebook page, and Bree didn't like it. She didn't like it at all. Bree and Shay didn't see eye to eye due to rumors spreaded about Bree. So Shay wanted to fight her and ease the tension between both of them. However, you saw Amber final hour, Bree had no up to fight her. You can hear Bree state, I'm not about to die with no fight. The fuck? Wooski, being friends with both, he could have swatched it. Wooski also goes by the name Shit Splat Woo Off, which is why Bree was saying it. Woo Walk is S T L E B T. However, he used to live in the Wick, which is now known as O Block. He was S T L from day one. He never flipped. He was only associated with the Wick because of his two other brothers, Fella and Big Mike. Big Mike was King Von co defendant in his murder case. Fella was killed by S T L in 2007. Soon after, he left O Block due to tensions between the GDs and the BDs. It became live amongst the Ops. Someone stated to Wooski on Facebook that he has too much karma on him and all his peeps close to him dies. They then referenced Trail, Tutu, KI, Booby, Dooski, Motor, and Side. And now Bree. Then, four days later, they deleted the post. Wooski gave honor to all his soldiers on his Facebook page and which was hacked. Wooski and Bree continues to be good friends, although many feel as though he has too much karma on him. Despite how Bree and Wooski were, Wooop stayed out of Bree's beef and left her to defend her own. Rumors started to go around the block about Bree. As rumors spread, gals from MOB on 56th in Michigan, Scrap Gang, all the way to Jarro on 62nd and Vernon wanted to get down on Bree. Bree just lost her BD of a terminal illness, didn't have the energy to fight. Plus, she lost motor inside. She really wasn't feeling it. Bree had heat on her back. However, she denied the allegations several times. But here in Chicago, youngins don't kill for knowing the truth. All they need is a rumor. Asking to keep they set secret, but okay for me to talk about it. They stated Melly had a contract on his head for robbing drug dealers. Ufa Juan Melly wasn't the only person to have a contract on him. MOB Bebe as well. These contracts came from robbing drug dealers. Perception can get you killed. Perception can get you fired. It can also take from you and perception can give you things. Bree had such a negative perception about her that she tried her best to ignore it and continue living as she has always done. She denied it and that she said she would never do that. But remember what I said a while back, it doesn't matter what you think of you, it's what others see how others think of you. Bree 
had heat on her. What she needed was clemency. She needed to be pardoned by the streets. She needed a high ranking member to clear her name and revoke the hit that was issued for her life. Bree could have had a different outing, but Bree had said things and messages that made it sound as if so she would. She said so many things that people jumped on the van and judged her. The best predictor of future behavior is prior behavior. However, Ambry stated, Finish him with laughing emojis. She also stated, If we can't catch you, we on your homies. Then stated, I'm off the jigger hole. Long live Dooski the man. Then she stated, Shut y'all bitch ass up. I'm the highest hell on Cheeto. Taking lines from Wooski and Splat Gang. She also had more. She stated, What y'all gonna do when Woo Wop and Nello pop out their cut and kill y'all with laughing emojis? She also stated, Be watchful. It's the ones next to you that'll kill you. B posted, she trying to show her nigga it's more in the life than the streets. But Lord replied, nah, he needs to show you that. Bree replied, she's not in the streets. Bree had been around a situation between Motor, Psy, and Melly. I can't really give y'all the facts, but Bree died over rumors. Here is what surrounded Ambry. Ambry is affiliated with the GDs from Everhart. She was rumored to do hits with the gang. Bree was known on the block as a writer, and some nicknamed her My Daily Secret, referencing to K.I. from Jakira Barnes. She was called out for using her beauty and finessing to set up other rival gangs on Backpage. The killer sent a note on Dark Side stating she was the one who set up 600 Waldo to be killed. However, after speaking with high ranking members on Dark Side, that turned out to be a lie. 600 Waldo was not set up but was rather caught lacking. 600 Waldo was tweeting this Kandusky and Scrap Gang slid on 600 just so happened to catch 600 Waldo on 63rd loafing. In reference to Darkseid, Darkseid represents the whole 61st, 62nd, 63rd, 64th from Vernon to Champlain which also includes Death Roads. Ambry was accused of setting folks up on Backpage to get robbed. That made her capable of setting up ops as well. With all these rumors circulating, it made her a high target. Also, after her death, a Facebook post appeared on her Facebook page. If we ever go broke, we masking up. That message floated on her Facebook page is rumored to be from the killer. Bree last post was, can't be tweaking, got too much going on right now. That post was two days before her death. She had not posted since then. Why at the time she's being murdered would she post that? Hell no, that was the killer. Bree never capitalized all her words, ever. But let's go through some of her posts together. I'm off that jigger ho. Long live Dooski the fucking man. What y'all gonna do when Woo Wop and Nello pop out that cut and line your ass up? I'm fully gay now. I don't want you niggas. Finish him. If we can't catch you, we on your homies. I watched my son stare at his daddy in a casket. Don't talk to me about pain. 
You gotta watch these motherfuckers that's close to you. They the ones that'll do ya. I need a new life, G. This one fuck can put me up. Breathe. Definitely had reposts of Facebook posts. However, the rumors that were notion around her did not match her behavior. However, I did notice a lot of her friends and family were informing her that her posts were vile and rabid, meaning very violent. Only God can judge you, Bree. However, Jesus stated, judge ye righteously, and that I will do. Bree already had perception that flagged her name, yet she continued to make posts about sliding. More people could learn from their mistakes if they weren't so busy denying them. Bree was already warned by multiple times by friends and family to slow down on the gangster persona, however, she didn't. Being found guilty doesn't mean you committed the crime, just means you're taking the fall for it. You may beat the case, but you won't beat the ride. Bree spoke how she felt. She didn't hide from what she felt. She took the high road in. She had friends that really tried to save her. Bree took a ride she couldn't beat. Protect your perception, guard it with your life. That's all you can take with you when you leave this earth. Thank you.